Hey there, I'm Sourcemake and welcome to part B of the Java series where we look at Gradle. Now Gradle is another build tool for Java. Personally, I think you should use Maven if you're going to use anything. So all we're going to do in this video is look at how Gradle is used because honestly, I've seen some Java projects where they use Gradle. So it makes sense to learn how it works. As usual, I've got my website open. It's got the few commands that we need to install and use Gradle. So go ahead and click the link below this video if you'd like to get to this web page and while you're down there hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel. So you see we just did the Maven project and let's create a new folder for Gradle. We're going to make a Gradle project and the first thing we got to do is we got to install Gradle. Now luckily for us what we're going to do is do it through Ubuntu. We're not going to download anything special or do anything special. So the first thing we do is sudo add apt repository repository ppa CWGN Gradle. Now, I'll be 100% honest with you. I have no idea what this package is exactly, but you know, basically, what the command does is it goes to the package and it updates Gradle to the latest version. So, what you need to do is you need to apt get update next. So basically what we did was we don't know if the Gradle version that came with our Ubuntu 16 when we installed it is up to date. It's probably not. So what we're doing is we are updating the repository and then we just updated it. And now we're going to actually install it. So sudo apt-get install Gradle. And yes, so sudo apt-get install Gradle, super simple. I don't think this is going to take a long time. When I installed Maven in the last video, it took forever and I had to pause the video but I don't think it's going to take too long. So while we're here we will I actually don't have any links to Gradle. I guess they weren't cool enough. Why does it say three minutes? Seems like a long time. Anyway let's just do a quick talk about Gradle then. Gradle is going to have a few commands and remember this is a build tool. So what we're going to do is we are going to build Gradle, like, like use Gradle to create a project, and then we're going to use it to continually manage the project by building our Java code. And the way I think Gradle works, or what I think makes them different, is they have these things called tasks. Now, tasks are basically bash scripts that handle doing certain tasks. And Gradle has you build Java by doing, like, I think they have like a build task and you use that build task to actually do it to like compile and run your java code so this looks like it's going to take a bit i'm going to pause the video so stop okay so gradle has finished installing you can see that right here and we're just going to use the last few lines so let's make a project so we say gradle init and the type of project that we're making is a java application and i think maven I mean, Gradle can do a whole bunch of other things like scale applications and other tasks. I don't even know. They do a bunch of things, but we care about it for Java purposes. So you can see that the build is successful and Gradle put a lot of stuff into this folder. And one thing is settings.gradle, which is just one line. The root project that name is Gradle. Okay. <laughs> build.gradle has a bunch of stuff for us too and it specifies the plugins for java and application it says the main class name is app and it specifies some dependencies for our project as well as the version numbers and yeah so again build.gradle is sort of like pond.xml for maven it is a manifest file that specifies what our project libraries are and it takes care of things for us so in source, we've got main and test exactly like Maven. I keep getting the names confused. Exactly like Maven. So shouldn't be any surprise. Main has our main source code. Test has our test unit tests. I'm failing to find the words because these are so similar. Okay, so our unit test, we didn't look at it last time, but it's just some code. I'm not even going to go over it. And the other main... Java file is this and it says new app that get greeting and this is the get greeting function. So let's say hello world from source make in Gradle. Okay, perfect. So that is our project. No, I don't want to that was a mistake. 
So that's our project and we are going to compile it now. So the way you do that is by building it in Gradle and the way you do that is Gradle W space build dash slash Gradle W slash build. And you can tell that Gradle W is this these two files right here because again, I said before the little interruption that Gradle is about having these shell files that do tasks for us and one of the tasks is building, I guess. You can actually take a look at it, why not? I mean, so you can see right here, this is the file and it's kind of long. Don't really feel like dealing with it, to be honest with you guys. So it's gonna build our project for us. And I guess it's got a bunch of things to do. So seven actionable tasks that got executed. So our project is built and now we want to say Gradle W tasks. And to be really honest with you, I'm not sure what that did, but you need to do that. Okay, all unit tests check. So it verifies that everything is working, I guess. And finally, we want to run it. So we're going to run our project code and we get the output, hello world from source make and Gradle, which is exactly what we typed in Java. So, <coughs> sorry, this is Gradle. That is how you would use Gradle, how you install it, really simple. I personally prefer Maven, but a lot of projects use Gradle. You can determine which one is best for you. So that's Gradle in Java. I'm source make, thanks for watching.